All right, people, what's up, everyone, and welcome to another reaction video for today. And uh, I missed this yesterday. I was going to record one yesterday. I just didn't get around to it. But this is the kill count for Mortal Kombat X, of course. Uh, and I'm just going to kind of chill out. I've been, I've been recording a lot today. So this is already a long thing. I'm going to chill out. So this is going to be a little bit more chill of a reaction. Whenever I say that, then I'm just like, I'm still, I'm, I'm like yapping the entire time. So, you, you know, the... the me even saying that's bullshit anyway so <laughs> you know i'm not gonna stop talking i never stop anyway more comebacks i haven't played since it came out really i mean i played I, no that's not true i played um i played uh dear, i played uh uh duh. i'm trying to remember the dlc like whatever the last dlc was uh duh. <laughs> was the xenomorph like one of the last ones anyway i played it back when the last dlc came out the last combat pack stuff came out uh anyway let's get to combat pack 2's last stuff i guess well no when xl came out i played that anyway let's get to it which do you know they were like well we we gotta call it xl i mean it's it's x uh, we gotta call it xl anyway let's get to it link in the description go watch yourself first of course let's go three two one and play your shinnok stupid face Am I the only one that doesn't like Shinnok? I really... You know what? Actually, I'm sorry. I'm going to turn the lights out for this one. Yeah, that's better. That's better. Let's go. We tally up the victims in all our favorite Mortal Kombat media. Hell <laughs> yeah. Agents, and today we're looking at Mortal Wait, Kombat is this a... X, released on PS4, Oh, it's actually Xbox something. Wow. Okay. In 2015. They went through to MPX do that? is a direct sequel to Mortal Kombat 9, which revitalized the series in 2011. Thanks to that game's success, the hype X for MPX good. was unreal. Yes. It became Mortal the fastest and best selling game of the franchise, with more than 10 million hey, Here's Johnny. That's my favorite one cool in there. I would never forget that. Yeah. Into a Wiz Khalifa song. Mortal Kombat's jumped to a new game. I love it had the same. It wasn't Wiz Khalifa, but at least mechanics. I don't think it was. But a very similar one. Realm Studios games with muted colors that are mostly varying shades of gray and brown. The women's outfits yeah. are way less skimpy, and characters get sweaty and bloody during oh, the battles. About. Leaves them looking kind of slimy in the end. Like someone spritzed them all over with gelatin. Gameplay-wise, yeah. MKX retains the previous game's new X-ray function while introducing it's a few such, new features. It's so Taking weird how much of a glow-up it is. Us, there are now interactive stage elements. Yeah. It's great. There's nothing between like X and a Eleven. Yes. Love it. Return the best. Option, the best. But they're not the super string of combos they were in Ultimate MK3. Now they're basically extra fatalities that yes. you can do to end a match instead of doing it afterward. MKX Brutality. also brought back the long absence sprint function to encourage fast-paced combat with a K. It can't be overstated how aggressive this game's fighting style is. Yes. Combos are king, so it's not exactly Very friendly aggressive. to casual players no, like me no, who no, would no. try online play only to get juggled non-stop for the entire bout. Then there's the character <laughs> variations which give all the combatants multiple I'm glad, they I'm glad they didn't do this in the new game. Some different yeah. strengths. I tried to learn I love that in Deception with the different Talking about like, 50 you know, 50s. But, uh, what the fuck is that? Luckily, I don't care about getting no, good. You know I'm just here to watch my stories. Most of MKX takes place I'm about 25 years after our heroes defeated Shao Kahn. That means they're all older, and a bunch of them have adult kids to continue the combat with a K. Us older folks are going to retire someday. So it's time for your generation to step up. As divisive as the combat kids are, I'm down yeah. with a good time jump. Problem is, this story is time pogoing. We jump back and forth between the present and I the various points in the past. And they're all yeah. out of order, too. So you end up seeing characters do stuff after you've Ooh. already seen them die. Oh, yeah. And Baraka there's a series of canonical graphic novels that oh, takes place before this game. Good. The story ends up being a damn puzzle. More like Nolan Realm Studios. Still, at the end of the day, this is Mortal right. Kombat. The graphics are a huge Mortal step up Kombat. from MK9, and the roster nicely blends familiar. Which and new. it is, but like compared compare X to eleven, it's it's oh man. Things that happened before it's a one of the biggest glow-ups I've ever seen. Forth that is sometimes funny. Repulsive human. Yeah. The Barack is repulsive. Who told you this? And sometimes <laughs> it's in lore and backstory. <laughs> nice. How do you know me? We house your family souls. Even with the confusing is that plot a, that occasionally as Tanya, was gets that Jeff and Hale, slowed like down, I still had a great time playing Mortal Kombat X. Can't ask a video game for more than that. Now, before we continue, I've got to transform and take a visit to the sponsor realm. Oh, okay. 
Cook Unity is a subscription what? service. You should do so zero cosplay. Meals right I'm not buying this because he switched chefs, costumes. Made daily in regional micro kitchens and delivered fully cooked to you, or in this case, me, every week, in as few as four per week or as many as 16, with the option to pause, skip, or cancel with a K whenever you like. Oh. And all you have to do is heat it up. And since I don't have now I'll get it because they cook K in the will have to do. That all right? No offense. You should wait. Thanks you should put Unity, that in. Wait, I'm able to put together a meal that's not only filling but also well <laughs> no made and that interesting really gross. without having to waste an hour <laughs> or more of my day on cooking and doing dishes. After all, when you're in the business of death, life's plenty busy already. And Cook Unity offers a wide range of meals to choose from, with over seven weird, dietary preferences. Weird quote, but if you're, you're out, of, out of context. Vegan, paleo, and gluten -free. No, I'm in the now, realm my of only death. Dietary restriction is the blood of my enemies. So I'm going to eat this Korean <laughs> yeah. flank steak rice bowl with asparagus mm, from yum, Chef Esther Choi, a New York City Ooh. chef who was named a Zagat 30 under 30 what? for her cooking. But if you're vegan, you could go for their vegan rigatoni I'm not. with pine Ooh, nut parmesan. Good. That looks pretty good. Ooh, Ooh, free? That does look no good. No problem. Just choose their chipotle lime salmon with Brussels sprouts. Chipotle. There's so many options. Now, if you don't mind... Mm. Oh. Mm. 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 You can try Cook Unity I must consult with the Elder Gods about this goddamn Ozornia. Or the clicking ZD. the link in the description and using code DEADMEAT50. Alright, no more delays. Yeah, back Let's up. get to Kill back Count with a K. Like K on for count, too. Not just for kills. That already has a K. You didn't put the K in the count, though. The game begins with Stony Statue story time. Johnny Cage narrates the tale of Shinnok, an elder god who rebelled against the others and invaded Earth. I did a full playthrough for this, by the way. I forgot to mention that. And Raiden, who is not an Look elder it up. god, and I'm sorry that I said he was in the last episode. I was wrong. He I mean, not. he did become an elder god at the end of MK4, but he renounced it to defend Earth Realm and Deadly Alliance. And besides, that's the OG timeline. We're in the second of three timelines now. Anyway, they chained yep. up Shinnok like Jason at the bottom of Crystal Lake. But anyone who finished Sick. MK9 or its kill count knows that Nether Realm nuisance is bad. After that intro, Everyone's you get favorite, soldier uh, missing his face. No, in the of not war. soldier. The streets of Earth Realm City oh. again, where eleven soldiers are seen getting murdered by Nether Realm beasts. It would not That's be a beginning of a Mortal Kombat game if a bunch of people got killed. Away. And it's definitely including this one who gets decapitated. And you know what? These gargoyle guys are humanoid enough for me, so I'll also count the one who gets gunned down. Send Quasimodo my regards. This is two years after the events of the last game during the Nether Realm War. Quan Chi's demons are wreaking do, do, havoc on Earth Realm. Do they no, always? I didn't mean that havoc. Save it for MK1. <laughs> Major Sonya yeah. Blade is leading a special forces squad and is joined by movie star Johnny Cage and Kenshi Takahashi, a blind uh, swordsman. Kenshi was in the 3D trilogy, Deadly Alliance, Deception, and Armageddon, and was also a was DLC character He's in MK9. One. He's His sword, one. named Sento, contains his ancestral spirits who help guide him in combat. Their fellow choppers He's in one also. Boom, and normally, I'd only count one pilot each for those. But we do see six soldiers in the back of this one, plus a pilot and presumably a co-pilot in Sonya spot so i'll assume eight is a standard unit size and double it to 16 for these two blackhawks that go no. down at least our heroes are on this chopper hey get over here buddy you can fly this thing probably not a harpoon's a sure sign of a scorpion wow in was that a blind up, joke revenant murders four of the seated soldiers in a ooh, 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 style, ooh, ooh, after ooh, small confines damn QT boy fight, can she saves johnny by oh yeah i forgot to set a bunch of QTs. The ice ninja sub-zero arrives and kills off the last two soldiers with a double jason x kill oh, now oh, i know what you're thinking awesome. this doesn't make any sense sub-zero real name kwai liang turned into a friggin' cyborg two years ago thanks to the cyber lin kuei and what's more so, that cyber subby got his frozen ass kicked by a screaming Sindal. His death got the doll machete and everything. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. well, it's simple, you see. His soul was taken by Quan Chi along it's with simple. the other fallen combatants, and the sorcerer <laughs> decided he had more use and potential simple. in his human form. Right. He restored Kwai Liang back to his body, but still controls his revenant soul. It's all in the comics, folks. Kenji and Johnny. Duh, you had to read comics before you play the game, stupid. But it crashes to the ground anyway. Pretty dumb. Well, don't worry, though. The named character survived. We fared better than the men. Yeah, sure could say that again, dude. Cage has to fight the ninjas properly on the ground. And there during the battles, you can see three soldiers killed in the background. Oh, They're we're going to count that too? Oh, wow. That is, All this fighting is very in depth. Their effort to reach Raiden's temple, where a battle sees 17 monks, I think, murdered by Netherrealm beasts. Just Jesus. so many dead Tony Shaloops all over the place. The only defenders left are Raiden and Fujin, who kill off Hell 25 yeah, of these humanoid beasts with their combined weather powers. Oh, I forgot Fujin was even in the story, but... 
spears more. Way more. Yo, spears are dope. These kills are much cooler than that wind shit. Take no flesh, Stormtail. They're just about overwhelmed, as is Josh counting kills, when we get one more for him to add. A beast whose stomach explodes thanks to a green skull from the Hell sorcerer yeah. Quan Chi. Quan Chi. He shows off some of his revenants. I don't know why he killed that one guy. Latitude but... ain't gonna do shit in this game, other than lie down to the Weather Wonder Twins. What? Much scarier that, it, it makes no sense, too, because they made, they made made Sindel looks so fucking powerful in the in the in the last game where she just like shows up and she's like eh, and then she like disappears for almost the entire game. He's an elder god from the nether realm and he's real poetic about death. Remove the shadow from the light. The shadow grows. That's Troy Baker, right? The legacy of life is death. Is that Fallout Boy or MCR? Shinnok's probably Mortal Kombat's most powerful antagonist, and at least lamest. up to this point. I mean, he took over the Nether Realm. After I really do Lucifer. think he's yeah, lame. Just straight Sorry. up Lucifer. That's according to the manual for Mortal Kombat. Myth Where's my copy? I just, I literally just bought that game. Where did I put it? I just bought it. I didn't have it, and I was like, "Fuck it, I'm buying that." Oh yeah, there it is, baby. Just bought it. Piece of shit game. Mythology Sub Zero, which marked Shinnok's first oh, appearance. Oh, look how stupid he looks! Polygon Monster. Mythology oh. was an action adventure game released in 1997. We don't talk about it. it was the first in the series not to be a fighting game, so I never gave it any thought. Yeah, but it's kind of good. a pain in the ass. It's a Interestingly, piece of shit. it's still canon in this so timeline since it so takes bad. place before the events of the original Mortal Kombat, so it wouldn't some. have been changed by <laughs> Raiden's confusing call to the past. Shinnok more prominently featured in MK4, mm -hmm. where he was the main boss and a playable character, but he was. So so stupid for the next two games. He was in Armageddon, yes, but I mean, was. who the fuck wasn't? Am I right? Yeah. On their way to Raiden's Temple, the special forces see I wasn't dead in it. Shaolin monks being cleaned up. Nothing like a good corpse pile. They're found by Revenant Nightwolf, who's joined for the fight by Revenant Jax and Revenant Smoke. I actually Smoke. like that design for. Her. Revenant Enra. Oh, I'm Enra. sorry. Revenant Enra. Revenant Enra? Enra's the Japanese word for smoke, which is oh. cool, I guess. Would be cooler if smoke did anything in this game. <laughs> I am an Enra punch. To fight their former friends, but they better do it. I really like the Jax design. Jax is full of piss and vinegar. Minus the Those vinegar. arms look Friends are not. They beat him up real good. Oh, Still my sad. skull! I'm gonna fix you someday. I can fix him. Inside the cave, Kenshin and Sento <laughs> guide the SFers to a portal to Raiden's temple. Good thing, since Raiden and Fujin are Heard, attacked by wait, Shinnok's they? They might actually. coordinated grunting. Ah. The fight's a major headache, and Shinnok's getting we... ready to welcome them to the nether realm when he's interrupted by a shadow kick, courtesy of Johnny Cage. The Elder God fights back with poison style, sometimes yeah. pulling a mid-air Pennywise, and sometimes Sick. looking like Neo when he realizes the one. <laughs> yep, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> it's so, so Neo the one. Johnny to interfere, Not and even... the combination of powers turns him into a Super Saiyan of sorts. Huh. Things didn't work out that way for Liu Kang when two powers combined. <laughs> Or Nightwolf and Sindel. Yeah. Think of it. Yeah, Johnny's got that A-list plot armor. This green halo is apparently a I didn't, You know what? I'm going to say something that might be controversial. I didn't really like Johnny... Johnny I was about to say Johnny Depp. Uh, I don't like Johnny De Depp. I think Amber Heard's was right. <laughs> no, I, I, I don't really... I didn't really care for Johnny Cage as a character in this game. I think he was a little too serious. Same thing in Eleven, I think. Johnny's well, the The non... You know, the non... Or like past version of John. I think John Key should always be goofy and over the top. Terranian war cult ancestry. Wonder if we should call him a hero or a gyro. The Gamma Glow allows him to defeat Shinnok and All secure right. his amulet for the good guys. Oh yeah, Shinnok's got an amulet too. Mortal Kombat loves its freaking amulet. I love my amulet. He's lousy with him. Raiden uses <laughs> the amulet to capture Shinnok, and though Quan Chi and his revenants get away, Johnny and Sonya start snuggling up real nice. Mm -hmm. She called me Johnny. Later, in another yeah. chapter, we see what happened after yep. Shinnok was in prison. The flirty duo tracked Quan Chi to his fortress, where the sorcerer confronted them with revenants. Revenant Sub-Zero, Jax, and Scorpion. A bunch of fighting ensued, but it ended when Revenant Jax no! stuck a blade through Johnny's back. As Cage bleeds out, Quan Chi's centerpiece blood pool starts bubbling up a brand new Johnny Cage. Or, just like a random bald guy, if you're going by the background <laughs> of this a fighting stage. Oh, I'm, I'm Johnny not Cage. Sure what's going on. Is really? Johnny's look like Stone Cold Steve Austin, bro. And put in a Revenant body? That, that's yeah. my guess. Soul Nato or nowhere, something. Yeah. As he does, and electroshocks the blood baby to reverse whatever's happening here. To help him, Sonya QTE kicks Quan Chi's ass, stopping his head a whole bunch of times. <laughs> I mean, oh, and what? was Quan Chi's too? No, my my Chi Chi's blood printer saves Johnny and restores Sub Zero, Scorpion, and Jax to the living. Oh yeah, they box. do save Jax. I actually totally forgot they even. Happened. Amazing. No, that's bullshit. That's amazing. What even happened there? Like coupling Shh. Quan Chi's dark magics to my own, I was able to restore their souls. Ah. Ah. Uh, 
Yeah, sure. Okay. Of course, yeah. she escaped yet again, but at least this actor and this cop found love. Now it's 20 years yeah. later, and an older Johnny Cage is leading a bunch of youths. Among them, Cassie Cage, he and Sonya's 20-year-old daughter. So, you do the math. Johnny must have invaded more than one sacred temple that night. Yeah, I mean, Cassie's oh, a special yeah. well, It doesn't even make any sense. They, 20, well, it must have, I guess it could have been 20 years, 20 and 9 months later. <laughs> <laughs> As is Jackie Briggs, the daughter of Jackson Jax Briggs. They're teaming up with Kung Jin, a member of the Shaolin monks like Liu Kang and Kung Lao before him, and Takeda Takahashi, the son of the blind swordsman Kenshi and a member of the Shirai Ryu, Beard and Kenshi which is, is the of course, Kenshi. Scorpion's ninja clan. Now, Hell again, yeah. I know what you're thinking. You didn't mention the Lin Kuei, James. Well, that's where this group is headed right now, to convince the Lin Kuei Grandmaster to join their cause. And that Grandmaster is a scorching hot Sub-Zero. After Raiden's lightning restored him costume. from his revenant state, Kwai Liang rose to the top of the Lin Kuei Classic Kwai Liang costume right there. The combat kids try to sneak in and confront him, but come on, this Sub-Zero motherfuckers! Motherfuckers! First he beats down Cassie, but compares her favorably to Sonya. Then he oh, disappoints Takeda Takahashi, Jackie Briggs, and Kung Jin with both his actions and his purrs. False bravado does not suit you. Those dulcet hey, tones are provided by yeah. Steven Wood, previously heard on this show uh, by yeah. some of you. As the critters and critters attack. Oh, voices oh I didn't watch that. Uh, dead meat. I mean, uh, kill count. I didn't know that. Show in this game. Oh, he voices Bo Right Show. That probably yeah. I mean, it was DLC, so yeah. I, mean, I think he does show up in the campaign. Though. And you may know him as Wolverine yeah, or Spike Spiegel. Yeah, Spike but Spiegel. All those credits, you want to like this guy, so it's a good thing these fights were just a training exercise. Turns out Subby's been allied with Johnny Cage the whole time. <laughs> I love the little crab walk this guy does when he cuts the kids free. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yeah, 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 I was, I was about to do it too. Zoidberg. Which is in the midst of a civil war. The current emperor is Kotal Khan, the last member of the Aztec-inspired Aztec race. His rule That's cool. Uh, shout out. Uh, Kotal Khan is so lame to me. I, I think he's extremely lame as a character. I don't. I don't hate him, but he's lame. <laughs> <laughs> threatened by Molina, you. You, you can think someone's lame and not. Hate him. I like this version of Molina. Inherited the realm after the death I mean, I like almost every version of Molina. Now she's fighting to take it back with a few loyal forces, and more importantly, I don't know if I. Samuel. I don't know if I like the design of the mouth though. Just this version. What Molina does in this game, even though she ends. Yeah, you'll see. <laughs> Molina has the Tarkatans on her side, ends. and they stage an attack on Kotal Khan's procession. It gets six of them killed by Kotal's cortege, which includes nice. Ermac and his creepy dead guy powers. Also includes this bug lady. You Yay, don't the killed war. Bug lady. As the fight continues, a wide shot and other angles show 36 more bodies oh, to Oh, boy. Holy crap, man. Yikes. We're at 133. And we're not even like, what are we in chapter three? Service, Josh, <laughs> do a real one. Our old friend Kano's here, and he's being paid for oh, by the police. Oh, I studied all your moves, Molina. So to assassinate Kotal Khan. Oh, Kotal he's almost quick time evented out of his one good eye and beat down in the old-fashioned <laughs> button-mashing way. Oh, glad to see the fighting hasn't spread to the giant crank district back there. Before Kotal Khan <laughs> can kill Kano, he's stopped They're by a fireball time. from Tanya. Look. Tanya's an Adanian, the god-descended human-looking race that I will say, I think this might be my favorite Tanya design. In hopes of winning Adania's freedom from Outworld. Tanya first appeared in Mortal Kombat 4 where she worked for Quan Chi and Shinnok. <laughs> 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 Katana saw on you. Can't you see Lu Kang? This is a Dumbass. Proved voice acting in this game is Jeff Rail. It's Jeff Rail. Best known as Je for, for like the brief second I heard her, I was like, "That's Jeff Rail." Kotal Khan uses his sunlight powers to defeat this freedom fighter, then teleports to. I probably already knew that. I just forgot because it's been eight years since this game came out. Forms of dismemberment. No, <laughs> all my Barakas. No. He moves on to Molina and bests her in combat with a K, but then she breaks out the super weapon. Holy shit! That amulet just celebrates oh, three dudes. Molina Damn, escapes bro. thanks to. Another Adanian named Drain who splooshes her away. <laughs> that was so <laughs> sudden. Just sploosh. The violent civil war between Kotal and Mine Molina sploosh. is causing a refugee problem, as wars do. Get off me, you ugly bug Williams. lady. Goddamn. Others have come through a portal to nightmare. The special forces are trying to control the situation. They speak to Lee May, an outworlder from the village of Sun Do. Oh, I forgot. Damn, I didn't realize Lee May was in this. I don't I didn't remember that at all. Who first showed up in Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. In the original time, wow. she and her people were enslaved by the sorcerers to build a so temple girl. that would make up Soulnado. She fought Soulnado! I love the Soulnado. Don't fucking make fun of it. Freedom of her village, Fuck but you. it didn't quite work out in the end. In MKX, Lee May's a non-playable character who's willing to help out Earthrealm, even as Johnny Cage completely dismisses her people. Our village, Sundo, was the episode. I don't give a fuck. Battle. We barely escaped with our lives. 
such as war. Yo, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> Lee May is voiced by Tara Strong, oh, a voice yeah, 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 okay. legend whose long list of roles yeah. includes a Powerpuff Girl, a Teen Titan, and the yeah, Timmy Turner. Yeah, yeah. Strong also voices the Farrah half of yeah, new character yeah, yeah. Farrah Tor, a know. symbiotic master you can tell it's definitely her. from Outworld, who doesn't really affect the story at all, <laughs> no. so this is all you'll hear. Same thing with Aaron Black. Yeah, you can tell that's Tara Strong. Yeah, I mean, tell that's Tara Strong. Amulet. Sonya tells Cassie to take her team to mm -hmm. Outworld. Mm -hmm. She's not in the mom mood, mm -hmm. so anything to get some time away from her daughter. Johnny tries to talk to her, but she's only focused on the mission. That's why they got divorced after having Cassie. There was a time when you cared more about your family than your job. General. The combat kiddies head to Outworld and run into Aaron Black, a new character who's a who's badass. Also, barely in the, the cool voice. story. And I'll state your business, including a reason. I keep I'm forgetting. Shit. Is it Troy Baker or Matthew Mercer that does the voice of him? I'll kill you. He's voiced by yeah, it's Troy Baker. the prolific okay. Troy Baker, who also voices Fujin and the big bad himself. Yeah, yeah he does Shinnok. voice Shinnok. Baker is a that. video game mainstay. Oh, he's yeah, in tons of well known yeah. characters, including Joel. This Joker's the really of good. As for Aaron Black, he's an Earth Realm born version. Joel in the Last of Us games. Joel in the first game, and then for 14 seconds in the second game. And may or may not have worked for Kano's Black Dragon Clan. He was born in 19th century Texas, but oh, granted yeah. a long life by Shang Tsung, which oh, is why yeah. he's still here. He he's actually John Marston. Everybody knows him. Car jobber. The MK babies flash some amulet to gain cred, but it doesn't work. Hey, yo, baby, I heard you like amulet. Right there. I wonder if that's oh, where you can buy the DLC horror characters, too. MKX combat packs included okay. Jason Voorhees, Leather. That was a really weird, uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right, face, xenomorph from Alien and Predator. <laughs> there was a com combination of Barack. Y'all say the shit ain't horror. Kung Jin avoids a fight and gets them backstage passes to see which Cole is actually Khan genius. Public execution. It's the hottest ticket in that world. The condemned man is a starving guy, only guilty of stealing bread to survive. So Kung Jin stops his beheading with an arrow. Yes. Fighting Kung ensues, good boy. like a whole bunch of it. And Kung Jin puts down the cowboy, but oh, I don't yeah. think oh, anyone actually gets killed amidst all the chaos yeah. here. If there had been, I don't think anybody gets killed two eyes i mean arrows through the eyes oh they'd be in bigger fine. trouble about when can she could go arrives. through this is getting his eyes stabbed she's up. a chitin, yeah. a colony of insects that bond together to form a humanoid body she's like if oogie boogie and tinkerbell had a baby that's like she's, um, some of that porn. she's divisive among the families oh, but personally you know what? i fucking love devora she's one of my favorite like new Devorah. characters and not just because she's hands down the hottest bug i've ever seen sorry flick i love the way she refers to herself as it's this one and her wonderful, one, yeah. interesting voice acting done by Kelly Hu. Yeah. Last seen on this Kelly show, and yeah. Friday 8, Jason Takes Manhattan. She took that hell She also drop. is voiced Finally, by, uh, what's her name in uh, the movie? Eiffel. I looked Make that up before. Kung Jin's crew yells at him for interfering. Uh, so what's her name from uh, the Jedi game? Oh, mad they double swear. You want Never to take this will. opportunity to tell us what the fuck shit you were thinking? Great delivery by Cassie's voice actor, Ashley yeah, Burch, yeah, Burch, who yeah. was in Borderlands, Horizon I don't think she voices her in the next one. game, Life is Strange. We find out why. Game Life is Strange is pretty thieves. big enough for years ago, he was a pretty indie, petty thief indie himself. Indie. He broke into a Shaolin monk temple and took an heirloom amiibo that belonged to his cousin Kun Lao. <laughs> heirloom and amiibo. Kun and caught the kid's dressing down. He was Mine. mad at the Lightning Lord for letting Kun Lao get killed. He made him fight Shao Kahn. Well, he, he won! The and then, uh, <laughs> Raiden didn't make him do all these shit. I stepped up to fight like he always does, but forgot that he had already eaten the sub-box. Raiden tries to convince Kung Jin to join Dumb the Shaolin Monks, like his I'm cousin sorry, I love Lao, Kung Lao. and their ancestor, the great Kung Lao, before him. And guess what, dude? It's cool that you're gay. They care only about what is in your heart. Not whom your heart desires. Kunjin is the first confirmed gay character of the series. Oh, so hey, this hey, is hey, the hey, only time I don't even remember that. More focus is put on his erudite interests. Did he even reference it? I'm sorry. Jin stepped up to fight like he always did, like his cousin Kung Lao and their ancestor, the great Kung Lao, before him. And guess what, dude? It's cool that Kung Jin is the first okay. confirmed gay character. I know. I don't even series. remember that. So this is All the right, only so, time it's referenced. So it's Takeda, I think, that um. Cassie Bang. Right? I think that was, that was in the lore. So That's in the lore. She okay, fucked in the, in the lore. I expected this guy to be purple or something. Don't believe everything you see online. That's a tongue in cheek reference <laughs> to how some of the one, older uh, games and even the movies better. depicted Outworld as yeah. having a purple sky. Kung Jin's knowledge of the realm allows him to converse with Kotal Khan. In the new movie, they don't even try to make it look like that. Forge words like silver. Speaking of silver tongues, Kotal Khan's is provided by yeah, Phil Lamar. Lamar. He's the voice acting in everything Samurai from Jack. Futurama. I got Samurai Jack, but well, yeah. I'll always think of him as the guy from Mad TV and Pulp Fiction. Yeah, Despite the diplomacy, oh, I just blew a hole in it. Anyway, and when Kung Jin defeats Kotal 
Khan, he goes full Katana. Now kill me. Be done with it. In exchange for his life, okay. Kung Jin gets Kotal Khan to join them against Melina. There ain't no one looking to get disintegrated. Cassie calls her mom and tells her the news as General Sonia tries to sniff out a rat. Lee May told her Kano came in through the portal with the refugees, so now she's got to get to the bottom of Down Under. At the camp, a refugee woman has been found killed with one of Kano's so-called neckties. Wonder if that's what he gave his dad for Father's Day. This kill puts Sonia on high alert, and soon she spots a sussy baka in the crowd. Too bad we don't get a scene of her. Was that? crap out of this lady who somehow Kano in disguise. Oh, it's me. Oh, been a while. Not long enough. While Kano was voiced by the returning Michael McConaughey, Sonya has a new voice in the form of Trisha. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Battlestar Galactica, and, um, uh, or if you're me, Lucifer. Oh, she also voiced Kerrigan in StarCraft 2. She was also in something else. I don't yeah, know. dude. They oh, wait, Trisha Helfer. Isn't she, she voiced, uh, what's her name in Mass Effect, right? Hold on, now I need to look. Trisha... God damn it, can I spell it? Uh, the, ro the robot lady, right? Or am I thinking of somebody else? Yeah, Edie. There you go. Oh, yeah. There you go. That's where I know her from. Anyway. Refugee camp, and I'll just note that sometimes a Tarkatan comes through the portal back. Dang, it's shot. He's but like, ah, like, and dies. That varies depending on yeah, how the match goes I don't on. Count so it. I'll only count this as a oh, okay. kill. Right. Not sure what I else I'm supposed to do. After the fight, Sonya kindly convinces I wouldn't Kano count the background the ones in the fight. Is. She relays the info to the combat kids, still God, hanging out with the bug lady kids. and the pet king. Hey, speaking of Samurai Jack, I don't hate them, I just hate that they're called the combat kids. Georgina, let's get their backstory with another flash. Flashback! Hooray! Five years ago, Molina ruled as Conum of Outworld, but was fixated with waging war on Earthrealm. Kodal wanted to usurp her and bring peace to the realm, so he asked Devora for help, since the only one on his side so far was fucking Reptile. Actually, hey. Reptile Boy comes through this time and spills the tea I think his Molina. face looks a little weird, but I like that he was just straight up. I feel like his face should be a little longer. Your best claim to the throne is moot. With that revelation, Devora decides to cut bait. This one serves me in a no longer. God, she sounds like someone applied auto tune without knowing how to use it. Joining her inside swap. I think you said you liked her voice. Dead guy's airbag, leaving Melina with only tar cottons on her side. And yes, it's pronounced tar cotton. I got it wrong in the last video. What and honestly, tar it feels like Baraka called me out personally. Tar -cotton. <laughs> it's tar cotton, Earth Raymer. To be fair, though, <laughs> if I hadn't pronounced it wrong, we wouldn't have gotten that Electric Six parody. So, you know, I think it was worth it. Devora takes Baraka to the street and not only beats I watched him the regular nine, two, I don't remember. <laughs> giving her a thumbs down, she straight up fatalities Baraka. Yeah, the music no. and everything. It's hilariously over the top as she takes the brain from his head yep. and his heart. And then, yep. bum, bum, that's just dumb. straight up Sorry, her fatality. Baraka. He'll never talk to me again. And that, combat kids, is how Outworld met its new ruler. I don't, like, I don't like seeing uh, present, Baraka get killed. Right? Devorah and Cassie Cage find Molina thanks to Kano's intel. First, they run into Rain, an like Adanian descended from the god Argus, whose temple the Battle of Armageddon took place upon. So, you know, that's pretty cool. He's that's pretty cool. hoping Shinnok's amulet kills Molina so he can take over. But in the meantime, he's on her side, which is why he splooshed her to safety earlier. Like Reptile, Noob Cybot, Smoke, sploosh. and Ermac, Rain was a palette swap name. In the original 16 yeah, I love games. his pose, Palette though. was a way to get around memory restraints nah. on early consoles, allowing multiple characters to exist using a single sprite with different colors. As mm -hmm. graphics evolved, so did these characters' unique appearances. And now, you'd never be able to tell that Rain started as a purple She's scorpion. A purple scorpion. Oh, and yep. yes, his name is a reference to Prince. He mm -hmm. is purple Rain. That Devora purple takes out the sploosh bag, as well as the other Adanian, Tanya, Tanya. before finally mm -hmm. fighting Molina. Ah, my chest vagina. <laughs> be future my chest vagina has Bugs in it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Hell yeah, let's go. That's why Molina's design in this game has lips. So oh! 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 Is over. As is my appetite. With Melina taking <laughs> Hit my care of Kotal Khan turns on the because Earth I jerked it off. Shinnok's amulet Not because for himself it was disgusting. And holding them captive. And if one betrayal wasn't enough, try a bugs. Because turns out Devora scheming against Kotal Khan and is actually allied with the forces of Neverland. Who would have thought? <laughs> that lady is Betraya? No. Those are my two favorite guards. No. Great. Now a bug's got a WMD. Sony visits Jax, who has spent his post. Every time he says, every time he says bug, it sounds racist. Why don't you fucking stop it, James? It's a simple man 
I'm God a damn. He's mad his daughter Jackie I'm a fucking special forces and still holds <laughs> it against Sonya, and especially Johnny Cage. But they want his help well, capturing Quan Chi now that he's resurfaced. And thankfully for them, it's always saving time for Farmer Jax. His daughter could use saving right now, since she and the combat kids are locked uh, up in style. Yes, he really living up to her last name. Once again, it's flashback o'clock, and someone must have stopped at the 7-Eleven, because it's Takedo time. Five years ago, <laughs> Takedo was a student of Hanzo Hasashi, a.k.a. Scorpion, who at that point Takeda. was an ex-revenant who had a serious glow-up. Takeda had been estranged from yeah, his father, okay. Kenshi, just saying Master Takeda Hasashi doesn't like organized the a father-fuckboy reunion. Just hey. like some initial conflict between them, they made up, and Kenshi told his son he had more to learn. Now it is time to complete your training. Takeda, we'll be back in uh, more how, how did you do that? We are telepaths, a family gift. I don't know how it's gonna make Takeda sense exactly. But... Mind bullets, the product of his father's training. I wonder what the intro is gonna be like. Or Takeda just Takeda would just be a completely different character. Forces on the dock. Kujin uses an atmosphere arrow to set the mood. Takeda we'll uses his psychic you. training and the reflexes of you, the player, to beat the ah, No, oh, sick. Shouldn't have been a licky nice. boy. He also That's defeats cool. Aaron Black, and though Ermax multi minds give him a psychic migraine. Wait, migrate, someone defeated Aaron Black? No way. The kids escape, which Kotal Khan is not pleased about. He assumes they're working with Deborah and have taken the amulet and plans to invade Earthrealm to get it back. That dummy don't know the amulet is actually on its way to the Nether Realm, which is why Jax is there alongside Kenshi and a bunch of future dead soldiers. Their Nether Realm informant no. is Serena, an actual yes. demon who first I forgot Serena was in this also. Apologies Sub Zero. She was loyal to Quan Chi, but eventually turned on him, probably because he couldn't remember his lines. A mortal with the ability to freeze. I forgot my line. You okay. suck. Thereafter, she aligned herself with Behind Sub-Zero <laughs> and the Link You play. suck. It's official. Game you Band suck. Game Tournament Edition, and of course, Armageddon. But she does make a return in this year's MK1, where you can see her in her little imp form. Quan Chi's a coming with some revenants. All of them riding <gasps> demon rams? I don't know. They're pretty Hell cool. Yeah, the bad guys murder 13 some Rise of Skywalker special shit. forces guys with various forms of magic. Oh, man. I guess, I guess, sure. balls and but Put like 400 gun. quotes God, around special. Striker. Yeah, yeah, Striker. Striker. Let's go. He's down Revenant Kung Lao with his very fun fighting style that includes Hell fucking yeah. power Ooh, bombs. Power oh, yeah, bombs, baby. Damn, yeah, man. Fuck Batista Ball. That shit. Oh, hey. Come in, bitch. Come here, bitch. Kill me, motherfucker. Serena from Revenant Katana, who seems to enjoy her present state. It suits me. I am a victim no longer. <laughs> She's so fucking over it. The fighting ends and the Revenants flee. Okay. And uh, since uh, everyone else is asking, I'm, I'm a victim no longer than Jack's beats this shit. You'll be killed. Wouldn't be the first time. What a badass. Oh, yeah. He finds Quan Chi with Revenant Lu Kang, then takes down the zombie Shaolin Monk in order to keep that faction XP grind going. Oh, yeah, he moves yeah. on to the sword. So this point, Come a single bitch. punch mm. takes him to the ground. He's yeah, Quan Chi's a pussy. To General Sonya Blade for questioning. But before she can get to it, Hanzo Hasashi shows up. He wants to kill Quan Chi, even though Sonya needs him alive to restore Lu Kang and their other zombie friends. But that doesn't sound like a Hanzo problem. You'd leave them trapped? Like you were? Only Quan Chi concerns me. Scorpion Man, always only looking out for number one. His Shirai Ryu warriors yeah. descend upon the special forces, but since he Makes gave sense. them orders to wound, not kill, I'm not gonna count any background bodies here. Hanzo and Sonya fight, and the funniest uh, part is you stabbed me in my gut. You That's where my heart is. I was born weird. Ends, he says this. Gotta I wish you no harm, General Blade. It was a painless harpooning. <laughs> <laughs> in any case, nothing's gonna stop Hanzo I wish you no from getting to Quan Chi, whom he calls the architect of his suffering. That's because now come on man you gotta do it right after getting d revenantized Subby returned to his clan who were still cyborgs under the leadership of grandmaster sector sub-zero killed grandmaster sector the cyborgs like bishop <laughs> but alien three. i thought the well, that rule was that you have to see the death i guess if they're like a regular character oh my god help me obi-wan you're my only help me help me quench you on you're my only hope you know, it's weird that everyone's defining life moments all happened five years ago. What, there's just a whole 15 years of nothing? Yeah, they're just sitting around anyway, jerking off. Scorpion's entire revenge <laughs> plot against Bihan was built on a lie, one that Quan Chi told them while the undead Scorpion was still a specter. Not a revenant, like I incorrectly said in the last kill count. dumbass. Sorry. 
Again, I think it was Quan this... Chi who killed Hanzo's family, not Bihan, which is why Hanzo's coming after the sorcerer now. Hey, what's Quan up, Chi bitch? tries to talk his way out. Watch, of it, uh, don't smack him. He might cut your hand on stupid ass blade thing. Hanzo's too pissed off to listen. I know some people were frustrated by his actions here, but this is the same dude who killed Bihan after promising Raiden he wouldn't. He's a hot-headed guy out for vengeance. It's just what he does. I think people. In the midst of the beatdown, I want to say people are like that because like prize away from he looks way less. Only Scorpion is and Moon, baby. Boom. He's been saying, but because you get to see his face, he's got, I don't know. In he still looked like he's Scorpion in the last game. He never took game his since, making him the longest running video game voice actor of a single role. Sick. Demora tosses Shinnok's amulet to Quan Chi awesome. and he utters a spell Kinda. in slow motion. Right as he catches the catch all magical device, he's decapitated yep. by Hanzo's blade. Hell Hanzo yeah, Asano's love they cut the blade again, too. Gotten revenge with a beheading, oh. but judging by that slight smile, it's too late. Indeed, it is. As the amulet erupts and gives birth to the fallen elder god Shinnok. He makes quick work of Hanzo and all the special forces, because these folks don't mean shit to him. How small they are. Though Quan Chi died to bring him here, Shinnok still got Devorah and the Revenant. Oh boy. Where's Striker and Kabal are? I, I just couldn't tell you, man. They take Johnny Cage as prisoner, Fine. but for some reason, leave everyone else alive. The combat kids get back just So they can come and beat the fuck out of us. No, the the combat kids are gonna show up and talk about Yeah, Borjo! This guy is I wish Bo Ratchet just... What? 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 Alliance, Bo what the fuck you saying? Monk, Who the fuck says they don't like Bo Ratchet? They can suck my cock. Hell yeah. He's a drunken, farting, puking... Hell yeah, let's Who's go. Said, might as well be from the Beavis and Butthead Genesis game. Or just Beavis and Butt. Yeah, so what the fuck's your problem? <laughs> No, cool. Looks like in yeah. this timeline, dude still gets his drink on. He got damn right. He seems a bit more hygienic. The two of them what? head to the Jinsei chamber, which is a giant well, well shit. of Earthrealm's Not life. Play as Such beauty. Like gazing upon the elder gods themselves. Really? Because I don't remember them looking like blue lava. He or said like. like. Oh, Raiden tells Bo Ride said like. He's Not really, exactly really sad that. about Luke Cage. Oh, we're blue sad. Lava, and uh, yeah, he revenants. fucked up still again. Still to restore them to human form. <laughs> I suppose it is possible. As long as Quan Chi lives. Oh. Uh, <laughs> looks like Hanzo's gonna uh, be in trouble again. Uh, uh, I stinky. Don't worry, they'll be back. But this time we switch it up and go back 25 years in between Ooh. the events of Mortal Kombat 1 and 2. Oh. Or, I guess, in between the first and second parts of MK9. Yeah. Man, this yeah. shit's confusing. Yeah. This was during Shao Kahn's invasion. That's why I don't remember this shit. It's so confusing. I, I have a fun time while oh, doing it, Rock like, while, while playing it, but, like, I, it's just so confusing to play. This flashback feels like the least necessary of the game. Outside of watching Raiden stop Devorah's attacks for the giant bugs at oh, oh, we don't really sick. learn anything That's new sick. here. It feels like padding so you can play as Raiden a little more. Back oh, in the yeah. present, Raiden's back to bath is interrupted by Shinnok, who zaps Bo Rai Cho, but I don't think kills him. You know not his power. His soul cannot be subjugated. The other god leaves through a door that must have spent a lot of time doing Ab Ripper X. Ooh, Damn, shit. get a door? Raiden is forced to fight Lu and Lao, whom he just said were like sons to him. Guess I love you, like son stuff. Oh, All the I'm really disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Back with tears when Revenant Liu Kang gets like that scene in the boys he's do where they all just beat the shit out. What's her name? More visions, Raiden. Do you still see the future? Love that line delivery by Tom Choi, returning to voice Liu Kang from Mortal Kombat 9 and MKVDCU. Raiden defeats Liu Kang and goes to stop, uh, whatever's happening here. Is Shinnok bleeding into the Jinsei? What the fuck's Devorah uh, doing? Yo, damn, this alliance ain't deadly, it's nasty. Yeah, yeah the Raiden nasty alliance. Yo, girl, you nasty. I don't even want to see the coochie on your chest. The steam from his bath is seen for miles around, ushering in the end of the world as we know it. Quick, everyone, get your final thoughts out. Hey, I think I love you is more than just a guard. Wait, what? Between the Jinsei huggy, shower huggy and Huggy like the secret ending of Halo. Shinnok evolves Come into here, a you Shinnabog? Bastard. Or maybe a Shinnabog. It's up uh, to the combat who fucking cares? I mean, who fucking knows? But in Roger Raiden's temple, they <laughs> run into an outworld portal. Kotal Khan and his Stupid. crew with a cave is here, thinking they stole the amulet. The Endor-like woods fight that ensues sees eight outworlders get killed. No! Grenade knocks a tree down onto six of them, and then Kung Jin kills two more with his energy arrows. There's nice. some fighting nice and a little bit of romance as Jackie Ooh. and Takeda develop a relationship of convenience. Oh, I don't she even remember that. When she beats down Ermac. Don't even remember that. the reason her dad had to hold her as a baby uh, with metal arms. The kids tell Kotal Khan that she's not arms are sick, though. Guy. Look, she got metal arms. Look at that sky. It's all, it's all evil. Look. Kotal decides that he, Ooh, for one, it's welcomes like his new Shinnok. It's like tomato soup. Bring him your heads. 
gain time to bolster Outworld's defenses. The combat kids are cornered with a K, but at the last minute, their attackers freeze. Rescue comes in the with form of F. Sub-Zero and the Lin Kuei, though I don't see any definitive kills in the background. As Subby pushes the freeze, Portal guys. back they're, to Outworld, the dead. kids continue on to Raiden's Temple. They overhear that Shinnok wants to capture Earth they're not important first, characters, so they definitely the dead. And defeat the Elder Gods I always love Sindel's that hair. That would basically end the universe, so they fight their way through the rest of the universe. Mirror's like, Sindel's hair looks delicious. Nine players of their past trauma. Has your mother ever told you what I did to her friends? Kill them all in the blink of an eye. With all these damn revenants around, <laughs> yeah. only Cassie and Kung Jin are able to make their way inside where Raiden is still getting the bastard Skelly squeeze, and Cassie's dad is getting gnawed on by Devorah's bug yeah, friends. Buggies. Cassie puts an end to that shit. You're the bug, I'm the windshield. Before she can free yeah, Johnny from that one. very expired honeycomb, Tim Curry legend-looking Shinnok shows up oh, and takes yeah, her yeah. ass evilly. He's ready to finally get or, back or to brutal Johnny legend, too. He also played like a demon-looking guy. Then. But only problem is, the like the green apple don't fall far from the shadow tree. Holy shit, it does run in the family. As Cassie Cage, you're forced to fight the absolute pain in the ass yeah, that is corrupted shit. I, think, I want to say he was hard. I may have played Thankfully, on Cassie has the ultimate power of guns. Okay. Guns, bitch, let's go. Eventually, probably after many, <laughs> many tries, you win the fight. Most likely with a bunch of jump kick uppercuts. His ultimate defeat comes that's, that's, when Cassie crushes that's right, his there you go. Oh my dear, shit nuts. Jin help <laughs> Raiden into the Jinsei energy source. His magic, or whatever, zaps the corrupted Shinnok back into his usual sassy old guy form. Uh, that's amazing. Then Raiden screams <laughs> and the red cloud of death amazing. dissipate. Revenants Liu Kang and that's Katana amazing. get the heck out of there. Raiden and Johnny Cage are saved, and the Cages are reunited with... So, Sony is he gonna do Silent Hill, Hill soon? You did a great job with your team, Johnny. Uh, what? I got fucking you hear that, gross Jack? shit. Call me Johnny. She called me Johnny. Oh, that's nice. The Jinsei is restored. Yeah, nice. All seems well. Except Raiden's become a bit miffed. Yeah. He's been corrupted by Shinnok's powers after removing them from the Jinsei, giving us the badass that is... Dark Raiden. In a final scene, he warns that he's through being Mr. Nice God. From now on, the best yeah. defense for Earthrealm is Dude, you, you being a villain will probably actually make less people friends. die somehow. No mercy will be shown. No quarter given. To prove he's serious, Dark Raiden tosses yeah. Shinnok's still living head towards the feet of Netherrealm's new rulers. The we get to see how when he did it in the next one, too. They now rule the afterlife as undead king and queen. Yes! Yeah. We're more yes. sensitive in the Nether Realm this time than in the Redux of MKs one through three. Let's find out at the numbers after I yes. check out this episode's new roster of combatants. Okay, now oh, I know okay. how this works. Whoever I pick, I'll have to fight. Yeah. So business. A little business. Not gonna fight my wife. Um, Why not? Eh, Scorpion Sub Zero is a little we played out. So, oh, Tremors Four Dandy Zorin. Yeah, I could take this guy. All right, let's do this. Critter ball. Oh, nice move. Critter ball. What? Okay. Critter ball. Critter ball. Do you have any other moves? Critter ball. Jump. Wow. Damn, two gold life bar, bro. Oh. Dang it. All right. Okay, okay, all right, all right. <laughs> That's adorable. Bestiality, uh, uh, I counted animality. 168 kills in Mortal Kombat X. 20 more than I counted in MK9. Which is weird, because I think 9 is way longer, too. Were way more skewed to nameless folk. Yeah, yeah, Shown yeah. by this pie chart, oh, only 4 kills were of the characters. The Woo. rest were all randos. As far as who did the kill, I feel like it got worse with Mortal Kombat 1. 16 characters had confirmed kills on screen. 11, I, can't I won't get into everyone's stats, because that's a lot. Oh, uh, the horror kill. Saw, Revenant Liu Kang with oh, 9, okay, no, okay. Fujin with 12, and Raiden with 13, giving oh, him yeah. the top spot once again, only this time he doesn't share it with Sindel, who only got one kill. What happens to the Mad Milf? I'll give the Golden Shades off the coolest kill to Melina. Some yeah, people don't like that a hugely it. important character got killed by a brand new bug uh, yeah, lady, but look true. at this shit. It's well, amazing. to be fair, amazing. Yeah, she didn't get see, bested. Yeah, her. For by her, so it's fine. Special Forces guy shot by Stryker. In a world of what? zombies, fireballs, and killer screams, gun deaths are by far the most boring. And that's it. Mortal Kombat All X right. was released uh, sure. in 2015. I, I would give it to a one where like, not violent. Whoa, really? Meat way back in 2018. I fucking love wow. Game, so I'll look at Mortal Kombat 11 sometime Wait, in the future. That was his there first one? I thought he was like a... Coming up, okay. or maybe it's happening now. I'm, I'm filming this far in advance. So, you know, 
it'll kind of depend on that. But until next time, okay. I'm James so Anthony. Nice. I, I, I did Silent Hill would have been next thing. The MKX they do. Kill count. I was so happy when the Mortal Kombat 9 slash Mortal Kombat 2011 kill count did really well. You guys really responded to it, and I'm glad you did, because I know that Mortal Kombat isn't really horror. But I saw a lot of yeah, people saying well that me. they were excited to watch me talk about something I was excited about, and I'm glad that came through. Like I just said, I fucking love these games. I love the story. I love these games, too. One just came out. I love that game, too. That one's storyline is amazing, and the voice acting is uh, almost entirely awesome. So again, if you haven't played these games, I would say jump in there, man. You don't necessarily have to get good uh, at all the combos yeah. and all the... What is it, 50 /50? It's like your opponent has a 50-50 chance of doing a, like a high or a low, so you have to choose whether to block high or low. Uh, maybe okay, after the crazy you. Halloween season, I can play online with some of you guys. That'd be fun, right? Omni Man. You guys want to kick dead meat's ass? Wait until Omni Man. Alright, everyone, get in here and kick my ass. Thanks, everyone. Be good people. Alright, come in oh, here. Shit, Fuck me up. Forgot. Hey. Mortal Kombat! Hey, now you must spell Mortal Kombat. Fuck that. So, is, are they, is he doing Silent Hill? I don't know. Um, I have an alarm that's about to go off. Let me turn it off. I have it for 4 30 because I have something to do. I just had enough time to film this, but uh, let me see if I can get to it before it rings. No, 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 no. Okay, I got. It. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I figured I'd watch that. Uh, the lights out made it better, but uh, yeah, that's a. Uh, that was fun. That was fun to uh, trip down memory lane for more Combat X. I say that, but like it came out years ago. It's not that long ago, I guess. Uh, I almost wish he did like Deception. That'd be fun. That'd be really fun. Um, but uh, yeah, I guess these these ones are probably easier to do just because Deception's like a twenty. 20 hour game i really want to see silent hill i i knew he i know he's gonna do silent hill in some form but i people let me know that he was gonna do silent hill i don't i don't know if that's gonna be before halloween or it's gonna be during silent like halloween or like right at halloween i have no idea but i would love to see that hopefully he'll do it before whatever strike happens because then he won't do it obviously well i don't know uh I don't know. I don't know how that works. I, I, Silent Hill, he might be able to do it. I don't, I don't think that would be part of anything, right? I, I'm not sure how it works. Anyway, there you go. That's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.